When you're maintaining a database, it's a good idea to regularly check for duplicate accounts, such as after you import a group of records to your database. eTapestry has tools for duplicate checking. From the Reports tab, click eTapestry Standard Reports. Under the Accounts Reports category, click Duplicate Report. If you ever ran this report before, you can choose to see the previous results or run it again. As with all reports, select a category and a query to determine the group of records to include in your report. In this example, we want to look at all constituents in the database, so we select the base category and the all constituents query. We leave the other options as they default so we can see the results on the screen and click Submit. You'll see a notification message reminding you that a duplicate report can take some time to run depending on the size of the database. You can choose to run the report overnight or run it now. The advantage of seeing the results on the screen is that we can work in the database to clean up the duplicates right from the report. For each potential match, the report displays the matching records and gives you the option to merge the records or identify them as not duplicates. In the case of Jenny Campbell and Jennifer Campbell, we happen to know that these are the same person, so we click Merge These Accounts. On the Duplicate Account screen, notice that the account on the right is the one that we're going to keep. If you want to switch the two accounts, click Switch, Duplicate, and Target under Tasks. Once the accounts are in the right order, select whether you want to merge, replace, or ignore. In most cases, you'll go with Merge so that the database keeps the information from both accounts. You can also make edits to the persona information on the account on the screen. To merge the accounts, click Save and Confirm. That brings us back to the possible duplicates report results where we see that the Jennifer Campbell account has been resolved. Now let's take a look at Stephen Dell and Stephen Dell Jr. This is a situation where a father and son are living together and they're both in the database. We happen to know that these are not duplicate accounts. These are two constituents who share similar names and the same address. In this situation, we want to exclude this match from future duplicate reports, so we click Not Duplicate Accounts and we confirm. We now see that we have one possible duplicate situation left for Dave and David Wilson. Let's look at how you can resolve duplicate accounts from the account itself. Click on one of the accounts to open it. From David's account, navigate to the other screen where you can edit an account's name and manage duplicates. Under Links, click Check for Possible Duplicates. Notice that we see the same information that we saw in the duplicate report, although it will not include duplicates not related to this account. We can use the same options from the other report to decide if we want to merge or keep the accounts. On the journal of the account you decide to keep, there's a record of the merging of accounts. A note shows you when the accounts were merged. You can click the note to see more details. Thanks for watching.